Wow, now that is how you do a reboot. Trippendale the Rescue Rangers is absolutely brilliant. What an enjoyable movie. I am so surprised that actually the execution of this movie was so much better than I ever thought possible. What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Lifestyle Critic. I hope you're having a brilliant day. So in this video, we are going to be reviewing Chippendale Rescue Rangers the movie, which is a live action computer animated action adventure comedy movie with the Chippendale characters and the universe. And it takes them from the original cartoon that we know and love from 30 years ago and brings them into the real world in a meta self-referential, cool new take on a bit of a reboot franchise and it just executes it all so brilliantly. This movie was so much better than I thought it was and actually this movie is getting a lot of praise and I was thinking is it going to be deserved of the hype but actually it surpasses the hype and it is just such a brilliant movie. I mean it was in development hell for almost 10 years but I feel like they did a really really good job in terms of waiting and just creating the perfect Chippendale movie for this time and for this age and the jokes, all of the references, all of the brilliant storyline that happens in this movie is really, really great and I cannot wait to break it down for you in this movie review. So I absolutely love mystery movies and I'm really, really happy with the way in which they executed this movie. So originally, this was going to be an origin storyline for Chipmondale and the Rescue Rangers, but like I said, I think they did the perfect thing in terms of completely flipping that and instead setting it in present day and 30 years after Chippendale Rescue Rangers the cartoon ceased production and now we meet these characters in present day to see what on earth they're up to. So Chip hilariously is working at an insurance company whereas Dale brilliantly does the convention circuit which I think is just such excellent humour right there because it just makes fun of the people that are trying to relive their glory days but these two are reluctantly having to come back together again when one of their former castmates, the Monty character, gets kidnapped and so they have to reluctantly work together while well, reluctantly, at least from Chip's point of view, and try to work out what on earth is going on, where on earth is he, can they save him, what is the sinister thing maybe going on beneath the surface, is just such a wicked mystery movie. Now from a positive point of view, I absolutely just love this film, I think it's such a fun movie, a brilliant mystery happening that all of the audience and the characters have to try and work out and I think it's so clever what they did in terms of characters are now becoming bootleg versions of them when they suddenly disappear and this is where bootleg films are coming from. I just think it really pokes fun of that really, really well. And of course, the thing that everyone is talking about with this movie is that there are so many brilliant cameos. It really celebrates animation and a particular point in history as there are so many cameos, mainly from the 80s and 90s, a couple from the 2000s as well, of course, but it's just such a brilliant celebration of that time as well as just animations in general. I feel like it's got a really, really clever villain as well. I feel like all of the twists and turns that happen in this movie are just so methodically well planned out and it just makes so much sense in the wider storyline that they're telling. And on that point, I feel like all of the twists and turns are really, really great as you think you can predict and see where it's going. But of course, this is a Disney movie. So it really is going to lead you up the garden path and then take a very different path which I think is absolutely wicked. And on that point, it's not only Disney characters and Disney past that is celebrating. Of course, there are a lot of Disney properties in this film, but it's absolutely wicked that we have some non-Disney properties as well. They don't go so far as to really make fun of all of the non-Disney characters, as of course, all of the studios wouldn't have given the rights to them otherwise. But I feel like they poke fun of them enough for them to make sense in this movie. And it's just so wicked. I feel like all of the cameos are really tasteful. They're not forced in just to celebrate IP like they do in Matrix Resurrections as well as in Space Jam A New Legacy. So I feel like Disney are doing these cameo stuff so perfectly. And actually it feels like a bit of an adult animation. I mean, I'm such a sucker for animation. I think animation movies and TV shows are so brilliant. And it's so nice to see one that is actually catering for an adult audience as some dark stuff definitely takes place in this movie. But at the same time, a little bit like Multiverse of Madness, this is a movie for the whole household as well. So everybody can enjoy it, but I'm really glad that they do focus on the slightly older audience. And on that point, it looks at ageism really, really well in terms of certain people and characters when they're kind of past their prime, what is the way in which society then chucks them away and kind of focuses on a new crowd. I feel like it looks at that really, really well. And also CGI surgery, trying to keep up with plastic surgery and trying to retain your youth and trying to fit in with the current in crowd and the way in which everything is going and how this can contrast and be in conflict 
with celebrating what the past represents. I feel like it explores this really, really well. I feel like it looks at wanting more and trying new things and the way in which this can potentially backfire and versus how you can kind of keep a cash cow going. And you know, if you see something's working, then kind of ride that wave and kind of build momentum versus trying new things and the shiny product syndrome. And you know, when you do maybe make a wrong move and try something different and then it just doesn't work out for you, you know, the reboot culture in terms of going back to your glory days, I feel like it looks at all of this stuff with such a new perspective and a brand new lens that you haven't really seen being done before. As kind of, we see reboots kind of making fun of the fact that, oh God, you know, you're trying to redo what you've done before. Whereas this actually looks at it from a different angle, tells that maybe you made the wrong decision in terms of not continuing down that path and, you know, wanting to try new creative flavors. Whereas actually maybe it would have been the better direction in terms of staying where you were and kind of growing within that space. Then it also brings a new picture as well into the whole bootleg versions of certain films in certain categories. So for example, all of the Disney properties pretty much have had their own black market version of the properties, for example, Mulan, Aladdin, The Little Mermaid. And then it also looks at where on earth did some of the characters that you never see anymore, where on earth did they disappear to? I feel like it explores all of that so brilliantly. However, from a negative point of view, you know, I just wanted more from this movie. I wish I had an even longer runtime and we would have kind of had more adventures, more twists and turns. And it does take a lot of risk, but I think it could have done it even more. And I feel like it could have looked at modern day cameos as well. I mean, there are some wicked 80s to 90s and early 2000 cameos, but I would have loved to have seen a little bit more modern cameos as well. But that being said, like I said before, you know, it is celebrating a particular point in history and it just does it so brilliantly. And so from a storyline's point of view, this movie is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> So from a casting character's perspective, this movie is absolutely perfect. It really does put Chippendale front and center and has brilliant characters around them. And they just work so brilliantly. So let's go through them one by one. So first up we have John Mulaney, awesomely voicing the Chip character, a really fearless and optimistic leader back in the day in terms of the cartoon. Whereas now, kind of seeing this guy 30 years later, you can really see and totally understand and relate to the resentment that he's having for not being able to continue when he was at his happiest and at his peak, which was during the Rescue Ranger, then he does kind of blame Dale for this. And is really, really brilliant in terms of now he's working at an insurance company, but still he has his level-headed shoulders on and is very methodical in all of his thinking and is always planning everything. And I feel like he is such a wicked character and some brilliant one-liners by him as well. We also have Andy Samberg, who is so wicked as the Dale character, the happy-go-lucky Dale character, always acts before he thinks. Super fun, really, really lighthearted, a very jolly character, and really is the other side of the coin to Chip. And I feel like these two work together so brilliantly because of this. And of course, he tried to go down a different direction in the movie, and you can really see him wanting to mend the bridge with the Chip character. And I feel like as a partnership, these two are so brilliant together. And I feel like with the Dale character, you really experience a lot about his past. You get to see how did these two characters originally meet, which I really loved actually. The opening sequence in this movie was really, really great as it brought together fans and non-fans so that everyone is kind of on the same page. And if you are a fan of the past, then you can understand a lot more of the references. But even if you haven't seen the original cartoon, everybody can still enjoy it as it is a brand new storyline, which does celebrate the past, but does take it in a new direction. And I absolutely love the fact that Dale got CGI surgery, which really does make these two characters look very, very different. And it just works really, really well. When I saw a few photos of this movie before watching it, I thought, oh, maybe this is going to be a little bit jarring, but actually it works so brilliantly. I feel like they blend everything together so wickedly in this movie. We've also got Will Arnett, who plays one of the villains in this movie. Obviously won't reveal who he is, but he is voicing him really, really well. We also have J.K. Simmons, who is such a veteran at voice acting, as he was so brilliantly playing Omega Man. And over here, he's voicing the police detective. And J.K. Simmons really is everywhere right now. He's in so many movies. And over here, he's doing such a good job. We also have Kiki Lane, who is the main human character that is interacting with all of the cartoons and animated people. And she does such a flawless job in this role. And I feel like she is doing such a great job in terms of carrying it from a real life perspective. And then of course, we have all of the awesome cameos. There are so many wicked cameos, firstly from a Disney catalog point of view. And of course we have all of the other rescue rangers, which is really, really cool. But then on top of that, we have all of the non-Disney characters and they just add so much and bring so much to the table. And it's just so brilliant. I absolutely love the fact that it really does celebrate animation really, really well. And I loved it when Wreck-It Ralph did this, but this definitely takes it to another level. So from a casting character's point of view overall, this movie is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> 
say from a visuals point of view, this movie is so triumphant. It blends together CGI, hand-drawn animation and the real world together so brilliantly. It blends all of them together really, really well. All of the danger sequences are really, really great. All of the chase sequences are absolutely wicked. Like I said, all of the cameos are absolutely stupendous. All of the action sequences are great. All of the adventure bits are really, really great as well. All of the mystery solving is really, really wicked. And I also love how it brings the past with the present and takes it in a brand new future direction. Sounds really, really cheesy, but I just feel like it blends everything together so brilliantly. And so from a visuals point of view, this is such an awesome spectacle. <laughs> So I'm absolutely loving this day and age right now is it's bringing these awesome IP properties into live action, into the real world, and it's just working really, really well. Of course, you most recently saw this happening with Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which was such an awesome example of how you brilliantly bring together an animated character into live action, so wicked. We of course had Detective Pikachu not that long ago, which was really, really great as well. Of course, Wreck-It Ralph, Aladdin, Tom and Jerry. I feel like Chip and Dale is sitting in a really great category with those movies. And I do have to say that Chip and Dale is so much stronger than Pixels, which was an awful example of how you bring together video game animated character into the real world. And it's also a lot stronger than Space Jam A New Legacy, which I feel like overdid the cameo appearances. Whereas, like I said, in Chippendale, it does it in a really tasteful way. So I feel like from a comparisons perspective, actually, Chippendale Rescue Rangers is not only sitting in a great category, but actually it's sitting amongst them really, really well. So overall, I'm sure you can tell, I absolutely love Chippendale Rescue Ranger. I think it's so much better than I thought it was going to be. It kind of came out of nowhere and didn't really deserve to be as good as it is, but I'm so pleasantly surprised that this movie is so wicked and I'm really, really proud as well that all of the studios are really happy to feature their properties in this movie and all of the little cameos, all of the guest appearances. So brilliant, so effortlessly cool in this movie and the mystery as well was really, really great. All of the voice acting was even better and I just feel like as a movie, it's just so triumphant. And so for all of those reasons, I'm going to give it a massive 7.5 out of 10. Now I'd love to hear what you thought of Chippendale Rescue Rangers, so let me know in the comment section below and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.